The mosquito-borne disease malaria kills more than 400,000 people each year, the vast majority in Africa. Target Malaria, an international group of scientists, is working in Burkina Faso on a genetic solution. Abdullahi Diabati is with the West African Country's Research Institute for Science and Health, IRSS. The objective of Target Malaria is to develop a genetic control tool specifically applied to mosquitoes to be able to drastically reduce or eliminate the density of mosquitoes. The scientists are genetically modifying mosquitoes so their offspring will be only male, and any females they mate with after release will also produce just males. Since only female mosquitoes spread malaria, the disease should drop off quickly along with their population. In Barna village, where the genetically modified mosquitoes were first tested in 2019, locals were initially worried about the experiment. At the beginning, people thought that the survey was to release mosquitoes in the village that will give us more diseases. But since we are working together, we do understand exactly what their purpose is. We even help them in their work, like collecting the mosquitoes. GM, genetically modified mosquitoes, are another possible solution to malaria tested in Burkina Faso. The country also pioneered pesticide-infused mosquito nets. Oxford University's Jenner Institute in April announced a malaria vaccine tested in Burkina Faso with a breakthrough 77% efficacy. Target Malaria says climate and environment play a large part in the country's cutting-edge malaria research. The WHO 2019 World Malaria Report highlights that over 94% of malaria cases and over 94% of malaria deaths took place in the African region. Therefore, when seeking out institutions to partner with, Target Malaria sought out institutions in countries with significant malaria burden and a strong desire to do something about it. The West African Coordination and Cooperation Organization for the Fight Against Endemic Diseases was set up in the 1960s and headquartered in Burkina Faso. The Research Institute's Diabate points out that their scientists are the third generation of malaria researchers. When you grow up in this environment, malaria becomes part of your daily life, and it can make you think it's an inevitability that you have to undergo it. But you go to school, you start to learn, and all of a sudden your mind opens up, and so you realize what the source of the problem is. And thanks to their hard work, says Diabate, Africa's deadly malaria problem is closer to being solved. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Bobo Dialasso, Burkina Faso.